Welcome to episode 3 of Tropic Talks. If you're not aware what Tropic Talks is, for any new viewers, it is a weekly series where I talk about the ongoing activity in the Atlantic, and today we've got a very important episode because this is going to be my final update on what could be Tropical Depression slash Tropical Storm Alberto before it makes some sort of landfall. If it develops, it's still questionable, and we're also going to be talking about how another system like that is going to be rolling through a couple weeks after that, so... We got a busy episode. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So pay attention to the southeastern portion of the Gulf here. This is June 15th at around 1 a.m. We can see some sort of thunderstorm development off of the southwest tip of Florida there. And if we go and take this a little further, right, let's go into 7 a.m. on June 15th. We can see some sort of circular motion trying to develop there. And as we go into 1 p.m. on June 15th, we can actually see we do have a low pressure system there, about 1,004 millibars. That's going to continue to head off to the north, 1,003, 1,004. Just keeps going, dumping some heavy rain across portions, hugging the Gulf of Mexico here. And eventually, now the GFS is showing that this thing tries to actually make landfall across portions of the central Gulf, all right? Areas like the Florida Panhandle, southern Alabama, southern Mississippi. Now, you got to understand, every single run of the the GFS, the details on this thing are changing because we are still forecasting over 150 hours out, so it is impossible to know exactly what's going to happen right now, but anyway, we get rid of that, and we can actually see something trying to happen out here, uh, kind of off to the the east of the United States, right? We can kind of see it try to develop. We're not too certain what that's going to do, but it does turn into a low, a pretty strong one at that for a little bit, so we'll have to watch that pretty closely, but this is June 23rd at 7 a.m. We see another surge of tropical moisture out of here from the Gulf, and this quickly develops into what could be a very dangerous tropical cyclone here, June 24th, 1 a.m. This is what we could be talking about, trying to come into the Big Bend slash the Florida Panhandle here, and it gets even more intense. Look at that, guys. Very intense potential tropical cyclone forecasted to slam into portions of Florida here right now. Once again, we are forecasting at this point over 350 hours out. You should not be taking any of this seriously. You should not be planning evacuations or anything because we don't even know if this is going to, you know, be a single raindrop, let alone where it's going to make landfall, if it's going to make landfall, if it's going to turn into anything. We have no idea, but right now the GFS model, as well as a couple of the other models, are painting some sort of scenario here where we do have some sort of tropical system slam into portions of the the Florida Big Bend area and the Panhandle. Currently, it's looking like this could be a decently, uh, you know, low pressure system here, potentially again, a tropical depression, tropical storm. We don't know. All right. Let's be honest here. We really don't know what's going to happen because, again, we are forecasting about 350 hours out for that, and that is never accurate, but just something interesting to note. Now, this is something we have not looked at before on this series, all right? These are the height anomalies. So what we're going to be looking for here, basically, to put it into layman's terms, is a big blue blob to pop up here in the Gulf of Mexico. That can indicate some sort of, you know, storm activity and potentially tropical storm activity. Now, we can see here around June 15th, 1 p.m., we got some surge of that blue down there. Again, this is our first system, all right? Now, we do have that little blue blob out there, kind of chilling southeast of the, the Texas coastline there, all right? This is June 16th, and eventually, it's looking like it does kind of slam into parts of western Louisiana here, southwest Louisiana, but again, we are forecasting 180 hours out for this, so take this with a grain of salt, and you know, even now, it's not looking nearly as impressive as it did last week on Tropic Talks, so again, take that with a grain of salt. We can kind of see what, again, could be another system out here, east of the United States, um, out into the Atlantic pretty decently. We can kind of see something like that develop out here with our height anomalies. And then eventually we get out to June 20th and we see another surge of that blue kind of try to come out from the Gulf of Mexico there. And this is, again, what could be a potential tropical system. I'd also like to note we are going to have a massive severe weather potential across parts of the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes if this really comes to fruition here. <laughs> um, but Anyway, again, we have a potential, I, I want to keep reiterating, this is a potential tropical cyclone that is going to have the possibility, the very unlikely possibility, I will say, but possibility to slam into parts of the Florida Panhandle and the Big Bend. Now, again, take this all with a grain of salt. We are forecasting over 350 hours out. I cannot say this enough. The only thing that you should be taking away from this is that in late June, we're going to have another potential tropical activity somewhere. <laughs> that, that's it. That's really all you should be taking away from that potential tropical activity. 
Now, finally, I want to talk about the Z500 vortices and wind here, okay? Now, what we're going to be looking for on this map is, you see these little things that look like little, you know, music notes out here? We're looking for a lot of those inside of one of these circles with the reds and the yellows, and they want to be really curved, right? Something like this, all right? This is not a tropical system. This is something else, but anyway... Our Gulf of Mexico first system, all right, again, the first potential system, all right, around June 16th, 7 p.m., we can see some sort of signal here that this uh, model is picking up on, the GFS is picking up on here, off the west coast of Florida here, all right, we can see a few of those uh, isobars there are kind of starting to rotate, but it's nothing crazy, honestly, but... It is enough to, again, where it's enough to the point where we may have some sort of potential tropical cyclone try to develop, again, potentially. Now, uh, we go ahead and get into our second system here. All right, this is the one that, again, is over 350 hours out. Take this all with a grain of salt. But we see a very strong signal being picked up here, all right? We've got some very intense motion there with this storm, obviously. And again, it is just expected to slam right into the Florida panhandle there, which, I mean, that could be a very real problem if something like this, again, does end up happening. But again, take this all with a grain of salt. We are forecasting so far out. Now, with all that being said... We are going to end off this episode of Tropic Talks here. So I'm trying to bring my little face cam camera up so that you guys can see me. We're going to end off things here. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, if we get even a tropical depression landfall, I'm going to be live all day on this channel covering it. And even if none of these turn out to be tropical cyclones and it's just a typical severe weather event, you know I'm going to be live for that too. So, again, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you next week on another episode of Tropic Talks. Peace.